Hey there, welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, Marciano wins by a nose. Marciano wins by a nose. This message today, I'm so excited, is coming to all of you from Matt Green. He is a locker room member, and he's been sharing with me a few messages that I just can't resist sharing with the rest of you. And for the rest of you, if you have any messages that you'd like me to share with others, please send it to me. I will share it with the world, and I'll let them all know that you gave it to me. So thanks, Matt, for this message. Let me just look at the text a little bit here as I share this message. Rocky Marciano retired as boxers, boxing's only undefeated heavyweight champion. I'm sure most of you boxing fans are aware of that. But it was no easy road. But he always had the confidence, never letting mind monsters affect his preparation for a fight. The closest he came to defeat was during a fight with the great Ezard Charles. I hope I'm saying his name right. Most of you boxing fans will let me know if I am or I'm not. In the sixth round, Charles severed severely Marciano's nose. He split it. Well, when the bell rang, his cut man, Marciano, had closed the wound, but the referee informed his corner that he would stop the fight if the injury reopened. And so Marciano, knowing this, went on the offense strongly. He went on a barrage of fighting, never giving Charles a chance to capitalize on the fact that he had split his nose open. And as most of you fans know, Rocky Marciano knocked this guy out to retain his title in the eighth round. What a great story. It's a story that says we all need support, but ultimately the fight is ours to win or to lose. Don't let circumstances, the fact that somebody split your nose open, <laughs> control the outcome. Stay confident knowing that you have the talent to succeed because you've prepared for success. When things are at their worst, you'll never give up because you are prepared and you are determined like Rocky Marciano was. Rocky said this, he said, I have always adhered to two principles. Principle one, the first one is to train hard and to get in the best physical condition. And number two is to forget about the other person until you face them in the ring and the bell sounds for the fight. I call them mind monsters, as Matt points out in the written text. We have these mind monsters. We, we have these fears. Don't be afraid. Just decide once and for all that you are going to get in that ring. And regardless of how much you get beat or hit, you're going to come out swinging real hard and knock out your opponent. That's the message today. And thank you so much for it, Matt. And for the rest of you in the locker room, make it a great day. And let's all live our very best lives. Make it a great day and be sure to knock out your opponent and stay confident and you'll win the race. See you later. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the Daily Message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.